Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I have a super fun video for you. Today I want to go through all the polishes that I bought from Hella Handmade Creations in my first year of purchasing with them. This is kind of how I'm going to celebrate my one year anniversary with HHC. If you are unfamiliar with Hell Handmade Creations, I will leave their link down below. It's an awesome handmade creation site where many independent makers get together and bring us some awesome stuff every month. But let me just show you all of the nail polishes that I bought from there within the first year. I have over 50 here, so let's just jump right into them. So in no particular order, here we go. This first one is a Rogue Lacquer. This is a super multi-chromatic shifty polish full of hollow flake. This one is called Red Luna. This next one is a cupcake polish, really pretty sparkly blue, and it looks like the shimmer kind of has a pink sparkle to it as well in some kind of extreme angles. You get a little bit of that pink in that extreme angle there, but this one is called Daphne. Ooh, this next one is a zombie claw. I definitely want to wear this one soon. This one is Girls, and this is from the Powerpuff Girls theme that they've kind of been working on. Really pretty, lots of different glitters and flakies with a little bit of shimmer in there. Really interesting one. Nice crelly by Zombie Claw. This next one is pulling a little bit more white on camera. It's definitely lighter on camera than it actually is. This is a purple like crelly with some chromatic flakes in there. Here you can see all those flakies. This one is from the Barbie theme and this one is called Best Friends Forever. So this is like a true Barbie polish. This next one is a beautiful pink polish with that Aurora shimmer and some juicy hollow glitters. Definitely really beautiful. This is by M&N &N, and this one is called Crystal Ball. In the extreme angle, you see all of that glow there. The next one is a Bee's Knees Lacquer. I actually have two of this one. This is a Dumacorn sibling. Really beautiful with that shimmer. This one's called Love Hurts. This next one I actually got in a mystery bag from Coloris to Carol. I bought this direct from her website, but this is a HHC overpour. This is Perito Moreno, and this one is a South American landmark. So this is really beautiful. I believe this is like a glacier, um, but this one has some reflective in there as well as all kinds of small little flakies. And I think this one is also a thermal. So this one I think goes into a lighter blue. Really cute. This next one is one of my first HHC polishes. I think this might have been my first or second order. This one is Vanessa Molina's Petrifying. I was looking for a bright lime green and most of the ones that I found were a little more blue leaning and this one was the perfect tone so I couldn't pass it up. Really nice hollow going on in there like really strong. Lovely. This next one is my only Paradox polish I think. This one I love the logo oh my goodness but this one is a purple flaky. It does have a micro scattered hollow but those flakes are so fiery and beautiful. This one is Princess Mononoke or Mononoke. This is from the Studio Ghibli collection which I wish I realized sooner because oh my goodness so cute. The next one is a Heather's Hues. This is another brand that I don't have many from, but the ones that I do have are amazing. This is like a dark denim type of blue. It's like a steel blue almost, and it has some black little micro flakies as well as some micro scattered hollow and some red hollow metallic hex glitters. 
This one was so cute. I actually remember wearing this one and wasn't really sure about the color on my skin tone, but I absolutely love the polish so much. I just can't give it up. This one is called When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Interesting name, really cool polish. This next one is a more recent purchase. This is a Moonshine Manny. I don't have many of them in my collection either. This one is Drogon and this one is a magnetic. There is a really beautiful fiery shifty kind of element in there and the flakes are really cool too. Really interesting. Next up is another cupcake polish. This is a white Crelly, and this has all kinds of beautiful metallic shard type of flakes in there, and it's just so pretty. The golden ones are super micro, so they just look like a shimmer, like a large particle shimmer. It's just a really cool polish, and I definitely don't have any other Crellies like this. It's just really interesting. This one is called The Ton. Interesting name for an interesting polish. This next one I still am dying to wear. This one is Night Owl Lacquer, and this is an absolutely beautiful jam-packed jelly orange polish. It's got all kinds of flakes and glitters, and this one's called Sexy Squash. So cute. This next one is a super recent purchase, and this one's actually what I'm wearing on my toes right now. This is a Bees Knees Lacquer. It's a super shifty, beautiful pink, and it has that Aurora shimmer that I love so much. This one's called Lava Mancy. Super pretty. Here in the extreme angle, you get to see some of the shifty goodness. So pretty. The next one, I think this is my only polish from 1422 Designs. I need to check them out a bit more. This is like a blue baby, like Crelly. It's looking a little darker here on camera. That's a little bit better, but there is some really small micro flakes and shimmer type of particles in here. Um, really interesting, light, dainty, kind of winter wonderland type of polish. This one is called because I'm better company. Really interesting. Here you get to see a little bit of that pink glow. So fun. This next one is by Danny Viana. This is a topper that I super love. Oh my goodness. I wore this one earlier this year and adored it. This one is Fresh Berries. We have another Zombie Claw here. This is another Powerpuff Girl polish. Look at how jam-packed that is with flakies and glitters. This one is called Prettiest Girl at the Party. So pretty. Oh my goodness. The next one is a Patty Lopes polish. This one is a super cool jelly-like polish that has some star glitters and white hex as well as some what looks to be some sapphire glitters. This one is Coraline's Dreams, and this one looks really cool built up. I actually wore this in a kind of abstract patriotic mani. This next one is a bright and glowy Phoenix polish. This is in like a dusty blue base, and it's got all these hollow like glitters. I think these are hollow flakes, and then there is this beautiful red to gold to green shimmer in here really beautiful. This one's called Architect of Olympus. Gorgeous. This next one is also a Phoenix polish. Um, this one is a green flaky bomb and the flakes have a shift from gold into orange. And I think there's some hollow aspect in here as well because there's a lot of rainbows that shoot out of here. This one is called Pine Needle. Really, really love this polish. The next one is a red-eyed lacquer. It's kind of in a tannish, like beige, mm, grayed off base, but there's also a shimmer in here. Here you can see it a little bit better. And there is also a ton of little micro flakies that are like metallic. Again, with that like red to gold to green shimmer really interesting. This one is a Toy Story polish called Yeehaw. I think this is based off of Woody. Super cute. 
The next one is a Bee's Knees Lacquer. This one is a gorgeous polish. There is some fiery flakies in there as well as a blue reflective glitter and the fiery flakies complement that so well and I really love it in this steel blue type of base. This one is called You're Creeping Me Out. <laughs> really cute. The next one's a sassy sauce and it looks absolutely jam-packed of goodness. There is a shimmer going on. There's all kinds of flakes and this is in like a baby blue kind of like aqua colored base kind of jelly looking to build up all that shifty goodness. So crazy. This one is called Don't Ruffle My Truffles. This was a Valentine's Day duo and I did get both polishes. This is the second one. This is Do I Make You Thorny and it doesn't look like it's ultra shifty, but it definitely is. It's a berry toned like purpley pink color and it has this like shifty greenish gold type of shift which you can see in the extreme angle of the bottle here but oh my gosh you guys such an interesting one and you can layer these two together so that gives you three different looks and I just love that. These next two are also a duo by M and N. First, there is a beautiful like golden bronze type of hollow here called Fell in Love. And then there is a fiery flaky hollow, um, really amazing leafy looking topper called Autumn Leaves. And together they are again a beautiful duo, but look great on their own as well. Love, love, love these kinds of duos. The next one is a Patty Lopes polish. This one did come from a duo, but I didn't buy the whole duo. I just wanted that red micro shard topper. It's just so cool and can make any cream look like an indie. Absolutely love this. This one's called Tears to Shed. Simple but lovely. The next one is a Dom nail polish. This is a Crelly and it's absolutely gorgeous. I did wear this one, I think a couple times already, and I'm in love with it. It looks like a purple stoneware on your nails. Like it's so amazing. In both of my manicures, I didn't get many of these neon glitters. So I think that's kind of what gave it that look. But this one is more of like a Halloween polish, but I just like it all year round. It's so fun. It also has this blue shimmer to it. Let me turn down the lighting here. You can see it really pretty. But this one is called Hello Witchy and it is based off of Hello Kitty. The next one is a Phoenix polish. This one is a super beautiful glowy jelly type of polish that has this beautiful Aurora glow. It is pulling more of a yellow orange on camera, but in real life, it's more of a pinky peachy tone. It is very hard to capture on camera because it does have so many elements going on. It just blinds the camera. But this one's called Oracle Base, and I absolutely love this on its own or as a topper. You do get a little bit of that bluish pink shift in the most extreme angle, and then you get that green but definitely a super shifty polish that I love so much. The next one is an M&N &M polish, and this one also has that lovely shift in a blue jelly type of shimmery base. This one's called OBX. Really pretty and aquatic looking. The next two are a duo. The main polish has a beautiful um, reflective glitter to it. And this is a flaky topper that goes with it that also has this beautiful glow. This one's called Fairy Wing, and you have the option to put it over this beautiful green that has this gorgeous, like, red to gold to green shimmer. And then um, this one's called I Do Believe in Fairies, and then Fairy Wing. So those are gorgeous together or on their own. Absolutely love them both so, so much. 
The next one is a pink flaky balm. It's like in a pink jelly base with a bunch of beautiful iridescent glitters. And I love this one as a topper or built up on its own. This one is loyal to Artemis and those flakies do have a super shiftability to them. Really opaly and gorgeous. The next one is another one that I got from the Caloris to Carol mystery bag. This is one that I actually passed up when it first came out, even though I really wanted it. It was a month that I ended up getting so many and just had to pick and choose. This has so many beautiful flakies throughout it, and it's like a light beige tone. This one's called Rainbow Mountain and is another South American landmark. Gorgeous. This next one is the polish that finally broke the camel's back. I absolutely needed a white Crelly with black flakies, but this one has iridescent glitters in it, and that just sold me. I am in love with this polish, and I did wear this one. Um, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And I think this is my only polish polish, so really love it really really love it this one is called ruination gorgeous this next one is a patty lopes polish this is a baby blue type of crelly and it may be a little more dark than baby blue it might be more like a cornflower blue it has these white and black hex glitters as well as the stars in there and this one is called christmas town this next beautiful polish is a swamp gloss i don't have a whole lot by them either but this one has a beautiful shift to it and it has these bright blue glitters this one's called monkyo and this one is a magnetic super gorgeous the next thing up here is a duo we have a beautiful polish here that has like a blurple base and that pink to gold to green shimmer this one is called rose and this one goes with this one which is a really pretty like rainbow glass fleck iridescent flaky really pretty polish with some hollow as well and the little black flex and this is jack in rose and next up we have a dom nail polish crelly this one is a super cute blue base with a bright fuchsia shimmer and then it has these really bright neon glitters of varying sizes with the black fleck really interesting this one's called neon kitty and is a hello kitty polish the next one is an alchemy lacquers this is the lucky one and this one is a super pretty like greenish gray base with this super super bright and juicy shimmer it has that aurora shimmer shift from that green to blue to purpley type of color and i just love this kind of reminds me of what i'm wearing now but not quite this is probably my favorite alchemy lacquers and i have a handful of them i love this polish this next one is a phoenix polish this is a brown jelly base i've never heard of such a thing and i'm so excited for it this also has that aurora shimmer into that blue this one is called symphony in the extreme angle here you get to see a lot of the color really beautiful the next one is from my most recent june haul this one is a paint it pretty polish i don't know that i have any other polishes by them but this polish i absolutely needed to have i missed out on one kind of similar from them from the month before from ppu and kicked myself for it so when i saw this one i felt like it was a opportunity to get that polish again even though the base was a little bit darker I'm in love with this. I'm glad I got this one. It has a purple base with a um, golden glow kind of pull. And then it's got all the hollows in it. This one is called Soothers or Pacifiers. And this is a magnetic. Next up is a Phoenix polish. It is so glowy, you guys. Oh my goodness. 
it's got this extremely shifty glow and I think it is another one with the Aurora Shimmer. I'm just so addicted to the Aurora Shimmer. Oh my gosh. But this is in like a really pretty colored base and this one is called Hydrokinesis. You can kind of see the shift in the angle of the bottle there. Super pretty. The next one is a Hearts and Promises polish beautiful pink hollow polish with some pink magenta looking flakies. This one is called Olivia. Looks to be a breast cancer awareness polish. I do know that um, Hearts and Promises does a breast cancer awareness box every year and I got quite a few polishes from that but this is separate and this was for HHC. So yeah, really beautiful, really excited to wear this still, so pretty. The next one was from my most recent June purchase, and this one is a Phoenix Polish. It's a purple jelly polish, it's really sheer, and then it has all these beautiful fiery flakies. I really love this polish because I feel like I could use it as a topper or on its own. And this one is called We Burned Bright. It is so glowy gorgeous. The next one is a Vanessa Molina polish. This one is like a blue polish with those fiery flakies and some reflective, really pretty. It reminds me of the sunset on the water. Just so pretty. This one is called Divinity. Cannot wait to wear this. Next up, we have another duo. We have a Blurple base with a pink shimmer. This is loaded with that linear hollow, and this is absolutely gorgeous. This one's called Forbidden Love, and it goes with this one, which is the Forbidden Love topper, and this is also a, like, fiery flaky, um, shifty, metallic, flaky type of topper with all kinds of hollow. So there's the Forbidden Love Duo. And then we have a m and polish. This is a beautiful purple polish, but it is really shifty. It shifts from like a pink to a gold to a green to a blue, so it's kind of a rainbow polish. This one is called Beetlegeist and is a Beetlejuice polish. Really, really interesting one. The next one was a Penelope Luz duo that I only got the topper from. Um, this is the Han Solo topper. I don't know if you can see them, but there is some black like speckle flakes in there as well as this super bright glowy um, golden hollow glitter going on. Really interesting and definitely loved the concept of this as a topper. So definitely excited to try it. This one and play around with it a bit. This one is Han Solo. The next one is one of my most complimented polishes. This is one of my faves. This is a Nailed It polish. It's pink. It's got all kinds of glowy pink and gold and green type of glitters going on. This one's called Hydro Pump and was a Pokemon polish. Love this polish. Next up is a Danny Viana. This one's pretty recent. And it is a glowy, like, pinkish gold type of shimmery base with these um, irregular flakies. They're red irregular flakes, and they definitely look like rose petals, and I'm all for that. This one is called Rose Petals and Raspberries. Super gorgeous. The next one is in All Mixed Up Lacquers, and this is one of their... Um, garbage sink kind of Crellies where they just like throw in all the glitters. And I mean that in the best, most endearing way. Like this is the bomb for a Crelly. It's got bars. It's got triangles. Like this is the only polish I have with triangles in it so far. And I am in love. It's got all the glitters, all the glitters. They sparkle and twinkle and look like a party. And I just love it. This one is called Trapped Between the Books really love it. And last but certainly not least, no, but really, like I did a whole short on this polish because it's just absolutely beautiful, but this is a Sassy Sauce polish. It is a shifter and this one is called Metamorphosis. 
This one has some red flakies in there. They're like metallic and it has that pink to gold to green to blue shimmer and it is in a beautiful purple base. Love this. I did wear this one and absolutely loved it. But yeah, that is everything from my first year of Hella Handmade Creations. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. I have really enjoyed my year shopping with them and always enjoy their shopping experience. They are open the 14th through the 21st of every month and I definitely appreciate the consistency. There are so many boxes to look at every month, and this one is one of my favorites, I must say. But if you've enjoyed this video, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. That may help another polish lover find this content, and maybe even a polish that they will love. But if you would like more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you back. I have so enjoyed sharing my HHC collection with you here today, and I hope to see you in the next one. But until next time, friends... Thanks for hanging with me.